1971, a large city in England. November the 27th, a Saturday. You're out doing your Christmas shopping. You've only got one gift left to buy, and that's something for your girlfriend. What would Susan like for Christmas? How about a nice scarf? No, no, I got her one for her birthday, of course. Why don't I just take her out to a nice restaurant? No, perhaps not. Hmm. Why not a new camera? She's always wanted one. And it'll be perfect for the trip we're about to take. Is that a camera shop over there? Hmm, it's not bad. I think I want something a bit fancier though. That one there, what's that? The Nikon F. Yes, that's a bit more like it. I'll take it. A few months ago I bought this Nikon F with the Photomic FTN finder on eBay. Now usually buying cameras on eBay is a bit of a gamble, uh, but this time I was pleasantly surprised. It seems to be pretty much unused and it works perfectly. This video won't be about the camera itself though, it's more about what else arrived in the package from the seller. Now the seller didn't mention it in the item description, uh, but all these documents back from when the camera was purchased were included which is pretty exciting because you don't really see that too often. So in this video I'll just be going through these documents and we should be able to imagine what it might have been like to buy one of these cameras in a shop 50 years ago. Now you can pretty much split these uh, documents into three categories uh, which I'll now talk about. So first of all there's the most boring stuff which is just these two manuals. So this one here for the FTN finder and the larger one above it is for the actual camera. Now I say boring just because they're pretty much as you'd expect and you can pretty easily just find scans of both of them online. Now the next things are these two brochures. So you can see we have the Nikon F Photography Guide and the Nikon F System Brochure. Now these are quite interesting and I'll go through them in a minute. And now the final pile. Now these three bits of card are for me the most interesting thing here and they're also the reason that I'm making this video now. So looking at this scan of all three of them, you can see that they're guarantee registration cards. So you're supposed to fill in one half, stick a stamp on the back, and then send it off to Nikon. Now the blue card seems to be from the shop that sold the camera. The white card is from Nikon, and it guarantees the camera for a year after the purchase date. And the orange card is the same, but for the FTN finder. Now I checked, and as you can see, the serial number on the camera matches up with the serial number on the card. And it's the same story with the finder, which is nice, so we know that these documents came with this particular camera. Now there is one final piece of information on these cards, which you might have already noticed. So if I zoom into the central card, you can see that there's no name or address for the original buyer or seller. There is one piece of information though, and that's the original purchase date, which is the 27th of November 1971, which is exactly 50 years ago today, the day I'm filming this video. Now I know that might sound like an insignificant piece of information, but for me personally one of the big frustrations about buying cameras on eBay is that you virtually never know any information whatsoever about where a camera was bought, who bought it, what it was used for, and so on. And so for me, even a piece of information as insignificant as the original purchase date of a camera is just something I really enjoy knowing. Okay, so finally I'll just show you a few interesting points in these catalogues. So I've got the first catalogue here, which is the Nikon F Photography Guide. 
Now the first part of the catalog just shows all the different Nikon lenses and what their applications are. Towards the end though they show some more interesting accessories for the Nikon F. And one of the things from here that I've always wanted is one of these Nikon F compartment cases like the FB5. It would just be very satisfying to have all your Nikon equipment, you know, just nicely laid out in its own special case. So what else is here? Well, turning to the last page, I really like this little lineup of the three Nikon cameras and the pair of binoculars. It would just be quite satisfying to find the same Nikon Mat, Nikonos Super 8 camera and the binoculars and just you know, display them on a shelf or something. Okay, so now just the Nikon F system brochure to look at. And this is definitely the fancier brochure. And it's just in general really just aesthetically pleasing and really nicely laid out. A lot of fun just to flick through and kind of browse the accessories. And I think easily the best page in this brochure for me is this one. So if I just zoom into it and start scrolling through the panels, you can see it's a series of photos all taken from the same vantage point, but with lenses increasing in focal length, ranging from 7.5 millimeters all the way up to 1200. And yeah, again, just quite fascinating to see. And turning the page, we see something else that I desperately want to acquire, and that's one of these very attractive fisheye lenses. Now, apart from the fact that it would be a lot of fun to test any one of these, there is a special reason for wanting the 8mm f2.8 in particular. So if you've ever seen the film 2001 A Space Odyssey, you'll remember the computer HAL 9000. But you may or may not know that HAL's eye, which you see on screen there, was played by one of these 8mm Nikon lenses, just with a red light behind it. So yeah, as I say, it would be very interesting just to get hold of one and try it out on a camera. But unfortunately for me, they are fairly expensive. Uh, so maybe if you've got one lying around, you can send it my way. Okay, moving on, there is just one more thing I'll talk about, and that's this page of accessories. And you can see on the right there, another one of those really nice leather compartment cases. But on the left there, there's something even more interesting, which is the Nikon F with its motor drive. Now, if you don't know, a motor drive is basically just a motor which winds the film on for you and allows you to take photos in very quick succession. You also see it in a lot of films. So you can see it there being used by a photojournalist in the 1969 movie Z. And another example is this scene from the film The Passion of Anna, again from 1969. Okay, that's about it. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I've got more videos on the Nikon F coming up, so subscribe if you're interested. Thanks very much for watching. See you next time.